start the recording again. All right, so these are the steps for making a Quizlet for our, uh, our makerspace. Um, so the first step you're gonna do is to create, uh, go to create and create a study set. That's the first option. These are study sets that we are creating. And that's the first option under create. Then you're gonna enter a title and a description for your Quizlet. And these slides serve as your template, like your walkthrough of the steps. And so all of these you can, um, you can walk through at a later time as well. But the first thing you're going to do is enter a title. And this is what it looks like um, on your Quizlet screen. There will be a create a new study set and there's this enter a title space. When you click on it, um, you can start typing. This is the format that we are going to follow for all of our Quizlets where it's the name of the book the chapter, and then colon, and then the name of the um, chapter. So staying healthy, chapter whatever, or staying healthy for beginners, chapter number, title of the chapter. So again, it's that consistency that we're trying to create so that all of our Quizlets um, are the same in terms of their format. So then the next thing is adding a description. And so that's right below the title. And there's a space for you to do that and our descriptions are going to provide attribution to the source, which is Florida Literacy Coalition. We are taking content that somebody else created. We're taking their exact words and definitions and we're putting them into our Quizlet. That requires attribution to let people know what is the original source of this content. So I love tools like Quizlet because we have the ability to share these things but it's technically illegal. Like say you have a McGraw-Hill number power book or something or math book, and you have a chapter of, uh, or a lesson that has you know, words and definitions for math. Just because you can type those words and definitions into Quizlet <laughs> and share them, uh, doesn't mean that that's legal. Um, if you created a set that you were sharing just with your students, that's one thing. But if you're putting it out into the Quizlet library, you're actually violating copyright when you do that. So as part of this project, we've worked with Nicole and Craig and to make sure that we have permission to do this because we're obviously you know, adding more resources to support their curriculum. And so on the next slide, we have the, um, the words, uh, the, the actual attribution text that we are going to put into our Quizlet study set. So here is the attribution for staying healthy for beginners. And again, the only thing that you're gonna to have to change is just the, the number here and the title and then paste that in. And I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second. Uh, or if it's the staying healthy, the intermediate version, um, this is the, the um, thing you'll copy. And it is different, right? Because the copyright for staying healthy for beginners is 2014. And then the, the uh, staying healthy, which is the original curriculum um, for intermediate that has two different copyright dates. And so this just indicates that we've created this study set with the exact words and definitions from this curriculum. And that permission was granted by Florida Literacy Coalition for us to use the content. Um, and then you're gonna add the words and definitions from your chapter, okay? So this is from my chapter of um, chronic diseases. And uh, the words and definitions are, are in the glossary for the staying healthy. Um, in staying healthy for beginners, it's the first page, but you can copy paste them, but you, you'll wanna make sure to remove any extra spaces, um, but they're not that hard to type, but the word and definition, you wanna make sure you've set the language to English. And then you're gonna add an image. Now, some of you, it sounds like have Quizlet Plus, and so that's gonna allow you to upload your own images if, if say there isn't an image available. So like chronic disease, there are no images within the Quizlet library, <laughs> um, but for something like asthma, there are. But what you do is click on image and then it's going to say the word um, that you're finding an image for. And it's gonna give the options that are in the Quizlet library, or you have the ability again to upload your own image. You can see there's a lock icon here that uploading is only for Quizlet Plus. But don't worry that um, if you are just, just have Quizlet, the, the free version, if there aren't images available for your words, we will go in because ultimately we're gonna make a copy and add them to the crowded learning Quizlet um, library just so that we know that they're stable and they're, they don't disappear. Um, but we'll add any missing images um, if, if it makes sense. Some of the words that kind of just might not make sense. 
Um, and then you're going to click on create once you've added all of your words and definitions. And what that does is it saves your Quizlet. You click create as it shows here. Um, it's going to pop up something like I, we looked at earlier and you're going to click on copy link. And then you're going to paste that into, um, into the uh, resource tracker for the chapter that you're working on. Um, and so then once you're done in your resource tracker, we have a column in there for you to check off that it's finished. And then just like the Jamboards, um, we will be looking over the next few weeks to see when things are checked off and um, on a regular basis. And then we'll be providing feedback to you. Um, so your goal is going to be using these slides and the video that's going to be in the uh, classroom later today um, to guide your Quizlet vocabulary study set uh, development. And then uh, we'll provide a, a checklist for you to review and finalize your Quizlet as well. Um, I've done trainings with Quizlet before. Uh, people tend to just do them right away. Um, so I, I want you to just think about within your topics, if you have a teammate uh, that is in your chapter, um, go ahead. You have everyone's emails is in the tracker. I'm not, we're not gonna spend time deliberating who does what. Um, but spend some time, just email one another and just find out, like, make, be, be good citizens. And if someone really wants to create a Quizlet, um, I want them to have the opportunity to do so. Um, but this, this is, there's limited opportunity for you to actually create because of just the limited numbers of chapters. But also consider there are different types of Quizlets that you could make beyond just words and definitions. So if you want to, like, as we saw with some of the things that you've created with the Jamboards, um, if you want to go ahead and create something different than the words and definitions, you have the ability to do that. Um, so um, given that, and I'm going to stop the recording. Oops, I'm stopping my share. I'm going to stop the recording.